Good afternoon. My name is Marjorie Linton, and I am an ordained minister of religion, author, motivational speaker, and a spiritual advisor with over 20 years experience. Welcome to my podcast, Healing Thoughts Today. Please join me now as I share workable views for healing and inspiration to empower you and to lift your vision higher. Letting go of stress is today's healing thought. And stress is a part of life. People are usually stressed for various different reasons. Sometimes it may seem we're not making any progress at all, as life's challenges may seem to consume us. This often results in paramount stress, a debilitating factor which affects almost everyone at some point in time. Sometimes we become overwhelmed with being stretched in too many different directions, trying to balance home, family and work, and trying to make two ends meet. The thing is, my friends, the way we respond to a challenge can be a type of stress. In Psalm 139 verse 14, David says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. Amen. So when we're faced with a challenge or stress, our bodies activate resources to protect us to get away as fast as we can, or to fight. There are various emotional and physical disorders that have been linked to stress, including depression, anxiety disorders, heart attacks, stroke, hypertension, immune system disturbances leading to infections, viral linked disorders ranging from common cold to certain cancers. However, we don't have to be victims. We can be victorious, my friends, through Christ Jesus. First John 5 verse 4 says, For whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Amen. We have what it takes to heal our lives from stress, my friends. Second Timothy 1 verse 7 says, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and a sound mind. To overcome stress is to identify the problem. Take responsibility by changing what you can physically change. Then let go and let God. Instead of concentrating on the challenge, concentrate on the power and the presence of God, resting in the awareness that God is able to do all things in and through us. The words of Isaiah 26 verse 3 remind us, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. Amen. God's presence is comforting and healing. And when we surrender all our cares to him, he will instruct us with wise and loving counsel and we will find rest for our souls. There are a few things that we can do to help to alleviate stress in our lives. The first thing is to live in the present moment. 
We are God's chosen people. And we are co-creators with God. Created healthy beings. And we are automatically endowed with divine potential. The truth is God's sacred life is ever present and we are immersed in an invisible matrix of life and a substance. We are all called to live abundantly in Christ. So we need to let go of the past, cease from worrying over the future, and choose to take one day at a time. We should not allow the past to keep us in bondage, my friends. It helps us to learn how to be fully present to what is happening in the moment and not just get through the day. The second point, my friends, is to make God your priority. The key to living a stress-free life is keeping God in his rightful place by making him our priority. Acknowledge God in all that you do and make him your priority. Rest assured that God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. Trust God, my friends. Take him at his word. He wants us to live for him. He instructed Abraham in Genesis 17 verse 1 to be habitual in walking with him and living for him. He said to Abraham, walk and live habitually before me and be perfect. That is, to be blameless, wholehearted, and complete. We can do this, my friends, by establishing daily habits of prayer, worship, and regular and consistent times spent in His Word. The next thing to do, my friends, is to rest in God. Rest is the most important tonic you could ever give to your mind, body, and spirit. You may feel tired and think that you need a vacation, but the only true respite is to rest in God. It is only in God that we find a true rest. Surrender all your cares to Him. There is no substitute. Mark 6 verse 31 says, Come ye apart and rest a while, so that you may find rest for your souls. Anything else is just temporary. God is the only true giver of everything that we need. Amen. The next thing to do, my friends, is to make a commitment to change. Lifestyle changes are necessary to eradicate stress. We have the power within us to accomplish anything we want, but we must commit to making a start. Be realistic, make changes one at a time. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. As we step out in faith, we gain maturity, independence, and security. Take command of your life, beloved friends, and remember, we cannot please everyone who is important to us in our life. We must be happy with ourselves. Remember also that our reach should exceed our grasp. The next thing to do, friends, is to cultivate the habit of laughing. Yes, laughter is our birthright. It is the best medicine. 
it does not cost us anything and it does more good than bad so why not laugh and feel good about yourself when laughter is shared it binds people together and it increases happiness and intimacy laughter has proven to be a powerful antidote to stress pain and conflict it boosts immunity adds joy and zest to life and it strengthens relationships my friends it has been proven that laughter protects the heart by increasing blood flow which can protect you from a heart attack or other cardiovascular problems overall laughter makes you feel good it helps you keep a positive optimistic outlook through difficult situations disappointments and loss so my friends develop the habit of laughing at yourself and you will not only improve your life but you will also spread good cheer to those around you the next thing my friends is to volunteer volunteering is a very beneficial act as it boosts self-confidence and it instills a feeling of accomplishment when you help someone in need and do something to help them ease their concern you will feel uplifted in your spirit we're all our brother's keepers and when we learn to give of ourselves we help to improve our self-esteem volunteering helps to induce mental or physical healing as you learn to place your attention somewhere else where it is needed rather than dwelling on your challenges volunteering helps us to stay physically active this kind of activity helps us to reduce obesity and weight gain whether volunteers consider their activity a workout or not they are doing good for their bodies as well as for their souls in my own experience some time ago i proved the wonderful benefit of volunteering after a strenuous day of work and after attending an evening class at my church i experienced a pounding headache my greatest desire was just to get home to my bed and rest however help was needed at our prayer ministry and as there was no one else around i volunteered despite my pounding headache my help was needed to write letters of encouragement to people who had called the prayer ministry for help for various different issues at that time we were not computerized so we had to manually write the letters the leader of the prayer ministry dictated at a very fast speed and i tried to match her pace by writing very quickly then the unbelievable happened my friends before i knew it and without any warning my headache had disappeared i felt enormously blessed and energized by taking the focus off myself and thinking of others in need i was healed amen volunteering will no doubt help to open new doors of opportunity connecting us to the right people at the right time most of all as we connect with others by volunteering 
we help to decrease loneliness and depression among ourselves. Beloved friends, let us do what we can humanly do to relieve stress and let us leave the rest to God. The mind is the vehicle through which we overcome doom and gloom and perceive heaven or hell, good or bad. Our goal should be to awaken from the mindset of negation, my friends. God is our refuge and strength. When we pass through the waters, God will be with us. When we pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over us. When we walk through the fire, we will not be burned, nor will the flames set ablaze on us. Amen. And now, beloved friends, let us look at some points to contemplate. Stress is a part of life. The way we respond to a challenge can be a type of stress. Various emotional and physical disorders have been linked to stress. When faced with stress, our bodies activate resources to protect us. The way to overcome stress is to identify the problem and take responsibility. Do what you can humanly do, then let go and let God. Instead of concentrating on the challenge, concentrate on God. Live in the present moment, rest in God. Make a commitment to change. Volunteer your time. Amen. And now, our call to action. In the face of challenges, beloved friends, go into your inner chamber and close the door. In the sanctuary of your soul, Acknowledge God as the only presence and the only power in your life. Spend quality time with God by becoming conscious of your breath. Learn how to control your breathing, my friends. The breath is the essence of all life. It is that central embodiment that unites us with the Spirit of God. Declare like Job in Job 33 verse 4, the Spirit of God has made me and the breath of the Almighty hath given me life. Amen. Now, speak with God as a friend to a friend. Give God thanks always for where you are and for all that God has blessed you with. Always think of someone in need and reach out to them, my friends. Remember, giving is receiving. Learn to take some time for fun. Forget the demands of the moment and be gentle with yourself. Read a novel. Go see a movie. Laugh at yourself. Take a nature walk and bask in the sun. Focus on what you do want 
not on what you do not want. Remember, dear friends, that God is in charge. Allow him to work things out for you. God can and he will turn all things around into a blessing. Remind yourself that you have the power of God within you. Just be still and know. Now, experience the peace of God which surpasses all understanding. Amen. Thanks for joining me today, beloved friends. I trust that you have been blessed with this presentation. Healing Thoughts Today is presented every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please subscribe.